What's going on? It's your boy Cartoon here with Cartoon Review. We review anything that a consumer could buy. So it's time for me to update my cooling and my PC. Um, I'm gonna show you a little video before we start, but I do have a air cooling. It's running on the 60 Intel 67K. Uh, so I need to upgrade my cooling because when I do my rendering with um, Premiere Final Pro, uh, Premiere Pro, whatever it's called, the Adobe Premiere. For my videos um i seen that it's running a little bit hot and i don't like it and i also want to minimize the fan noise if i could take away four fans instead of four i have two fans and doing the same job even better i definitely gonna do this so stay tuned so what we got here is the id cooling 400 xl with rgb light and I, I got the snow edition just so it could go with my theme that i have going on right now so we're going to open it up and see what we got uh let's look at the spec right here behind so it's a radiator two on um, 120s fan speed is going to be 2100 level noise is going to be 25 db which is great so everything the bearing is ceramic bearing so it's gonna work for any intel the 22 the 2066 11 <clears throat> the 2011 the 1151 which i have and amd also the am4 the fm2 plus all them good stuff so we're gonna open it up and see uh, another well it also links up with the aurora gigabit msi asrock everything so for the final time let's open it up and see what we get inside they got a black black box right here hopefully y'all can see it uh let me zoom out a little bit just a little bit there you go uh, yep so we got a little guide information and then all the parts that we need is going to be in here so we got the two white fans that go perfectly with my theme appreciate that nice then we have some hardware here so i guess it's one for the amd let's see yep the palm comes with a little um thermal paste so all this good stuff right here put this to the side this one brings what brings here so oh yep the control so I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to figure out a way that I could put it. I'll probably put it exiting out back in my case. So if you have multiple fans, you can connect it to, which is pretty dope. So I'm gonna try to figure out, put it, I'll probably put it coming out to the back so I could hit the speeds. So, which is pretty cool. Put this to the side. And then the radiator itself, nice and white with the not the the pump also so it says here remove before using let me see remove before installation <laughs> so i'm showing you all of this so y'all can see it so let's get to the install let's let's i'm gonna show you what kind of temperature i get when i run my video editing so i'm gonna do a quick video editing whatever video i find there and the way i do it and y'all gonna see the temperature that i got all right so this is the video that i'm gonna do this one was one of my last videos that i did it was the led for my son's room i record at 4k um i'm leaving everything the same and then i use the next cam uh to i guess keep the temperature check on the temperature everything is at normal so i'm gonna ramp up the the fan speed and i'm gonna see how loud it gets so i have the cpu running max speed and then i also put the fan in my pc to run also on max speed just to get better performance and the temperature right now is at 57 58 not bad so let's export this file you're gonna see it right and we're gonna see how how high my temperature gets and i just don't want this loud noise and i know if 
I'm doing more tasking and like if I'm video editing and doing something else, my temperature is gonna go much higher. So it's at 72. And I'm gonna try to find another program that that you could use so you could ramp up so we could see the temperature. But this is this is just me right now, what I usually do. And the temperature in the room, I, I sometimes you know how that it is. Sometimes it's cooler, sometimes it's warmer, but my CPU always get, I just don't want to run the fans this loud, basically. So if I get this this number right here without turning my fan all the way up, I'm pretty cool. And I'm this is only three minutes into it, and it's at 70, 70 and some change. So usually most of the time, if I forget to ramp up my speed, let's bring down the speed. Let's do that. Let's put this normal speed right there. And then lower the speed in the case. Let's see what is the difference in my temperature. See, it's going higher. Little by little, it's going to go higher. And then the temperature on my CPU, I mean, my GPU also going to go higher. I'm running a, 10, 6, a 1070 for the win. So... It, it goes up two degrees, but usually my video rendering is between 10 to 15 minutes because this is just a small clip. It's a one minute, there you go. It's a one minute, 32, 36 seconds. So look, it's going 74, 75, 73. So it's getting there. So now the GP, the my video card is running the fan. So that's my main thing. I want to see now it's going up to 76 it's getting hotter little by little it's getting hotter so that's my whole purpose so let's take this bad boy out and put in this bad boy so i gotta figure out where i'm gonna do this but just enjoy it <laughs> This is the final product. I really like how this came out. It's pretty dope. Um, the only thing that I could say is, and it's not about the pump or anything, is the motherboard. I have to put it the uh, the fan CPU with the pump. The header is right there instead of being up here, up all the way up there where it usually be. 
with the pump is on the side so i had a kind of you really can't see the wires which is kind of dope but anything else man I, I i actually like it the temperatures are really pretty low the before it was in the 60s the pump it doesn't bother me it's as it's, it's, it's much quieter than it was before even if i ramp up the fans let me see let me ramp up the fan to the max. That's all you hear. And there's only really one up here that is ramping up fast. These are pretty quiet. RGB is not that strong, but I don't really care because it blends in everything. And what I was talking about, the control for it, what I did was I couldn't... I, I didn't want to open the case to change it. So basically I put it, uh, when I open the front, um, it's gonna be towards in here, like right here in this section. Let me see if I can take it out with one hand. Oh, sorry, got the mic going on there. Oh, right here, you can see it. But when I take it out from here, the control is right there. And if I want to change the colors, I just press it right there. There's a little pinkish, the pause. Change it there. This blends in even more. They got different modes, like this one has like the greenish and white. And then they got this one with the fan going on. We got pulse right there, which is pretty cool. And then we got all the colors going on there which I really like I might keep this one and then we have the speed it goes faster then this slows down then it goes a little faster and it goes faster faster I like this one so I'm just gonna keep it there so I mean that was the best way I could tuck it in let me just move this right there best way I could tuck it in is out of the way the uh, the radiator dope it was a, it was a simple process but for being my first time i wanted to make sure that i got it right but everything came out good i eliminated two fans and these fans are actually really really quiet and for the price of if i'm not mistaken it was 80 or 90 dollars i'm gonna leave a link down below i really can't complain about it so let me jump in um premiere and let's see what kind of um temperatures i get all right, so I'm in Premiere right now. It's 51 degrees, 52. I closed it up. The fans, no, the fans are. Let's see. Then the lowest setting that you that I could have it the quiet is, which is decent. For, it's pretty good for me. So we're gonna just run run it and let's see what kind of temperatures I get just with the pump, just with these four fans that I have now compared to six. Like I said, I was rendering 4K. Uh, everything stayed the same. So let's export. Let's export. Right now, 67, 66, 68, 67. And it's already running. 68, 67, 69. And, and I haven't boosted up the fans either. How I usually do it, I haven't done it. So let's, let's pump all the fans up and let's see what kind of temperatures I get. And I always, I usually do one more thing also. By now I would have been already hit 80. So let's open, I usually open up the front just so I can have more clean air going through. And let's see what it does. It usually drops the temperature little by little. So pretty good, I like it. 71, 73 going up a little bit. It is what it is, but remember, I had six fans before. I had six fans and that makes makes a lot of a difference. And I also haven't tweaked the fan speed in this. This is just completely stock. I just do, I just use whatever they have here. I gotta go in there and fix it up. To be honest with you, it is much quieter than it was before and I'm getting a lot better temperature for it. I really like this this fan. So if you like this video, make sure you hit a like button. And if you want to purchase this um, IO, uh, this uh, water cooler, I'm going to leave a link down below. It's your boy Cartoon. Peace. Uh.